Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Plays Hyper Rogue. Today uh, we have a new update version 10.3. Uh, we have not even uh, made it to the 10.2 content, so there is a lot for us to catch up with, but we're going to uh, settle into it just by picking up some treasures. Let's see, we don't want garnets yet, we have some coral, some turquoise. So let's head into the Hall of Mirrors. This is a pretty tough land uh, where you have a very high spawn rate. But uh, we have these mimics that will help us out. They will also uh, take treasures that we can't actually get the treasures uh, that they take. So we end up losing some treasure to them sometimes. But they're useful enough, they kind of keep us alive well enough that they are worth keeping around. The mirror ones are a lot harder to keep around than the ones that go in the same direction, or roughly the same direction as you. They all go in parallel lines to you, which is why they eventually... Uh, wander away. Let's see, how are we doing? Oh, we are already at 12, and uh, we already have the graveyard unlocked. But I'm not sure that's where I want to go into. I guess, I guess it's a place for us to go. Um, so we have to hold ALT while we're in the graveyard because I find the totems very difficult to see. So we have a little bit of a different look. I like that it darkens the screen and uh, adds the high contrast, but it's not something that I usually, you know, like to have active a lot of the time. We have an orb of safety here which we might want to keep that in sight. Uh, there's a lot of territory that we can cover without ever letting that out of sight. But you know what? It's, it's not actually that important as I'm thinking about it. And those, you know, those are the kinds of things that it's, it's just gonna, you know, you have ideas and then sometimes you realize the ideas are just completely unnecessary and I know that that sometimes really frustrates me when that happens. Now, I believe there's some, uh... Oh dear, there's a lot of stuff after us. Now I kind of wish we had that orb of safety. So, the ghosts are the really big problem, because they ignore geometry. We also have to worry about the shadow. But that shadow is going to stay in one place for a while, uh, just because we're fighting these things off. And so really, dealing with the ghosts is our number one priority. Because they're the ones that can really corner us. The other monsters... Let's see... Oh, that's the shadow, not a necromancer. Alright, so it looks like we're done here. And we can grab two more totems and then we are done and uh, we can start looking for a way out of here and picking up dead orbs I don't know if we're going to uh, go on a yender quest but dead orbs are always useful to have around you know they they're one of they're one of the orbs that oh I should not be picking up treasures they're one of one of the orbs that uh, can be What is this? Oh, a minefield. Well, I don't want to go in there uh, while there's stuff chasing us. But I don't want to go into this crossroads either. So let's see. We can make our way in. There we go. Lots of room here. And that guy's going to discover some safe tiles for us, which is very kind of him. I was going to see if we can kite that guy over some tiles, but didn't manage to do that. And the eggs are always on safe tiles, so I'm remembering this. Now what's this over here? Ah, here's one of the 10.1 uh, lands. 
So let's go check that out. We can finish up the minefield later uh, because I do want to check out some new lands. So we can mark that space. And it looks like there's not an easy way out of here. But that'll show us there. And then this one is satisfied, so uh, we should be able to step right there. And this one still satisfied, so we can go there and there. But that's a dead end. Uh, oh no, this one. This one right here is satisfied. Oh, and this, uh, this dog is going to discover some stuff for us as well. And that's got us in a more opened up area. Now this one is satisfied, so we can step there. And then this one is satisfied, we can go there and there. Now we have to be really careful not to misclick. Because that would put an end to all of this. Let's see, this one is satisfied, so we can go all around it. And that's got us into the Terracotta Army, so let's check this out. The Emperor's Mausoleum, the army of terracotta warriors, is supposed to protect him in the, his afterlife, while the traps are to protect the treasures in the mausoleum from thieves. Alright. Spending three to five turns next to the terracotta warriors will cause them to awaken. They have seven hit points and get stunned for longer and longer time with each attack. Interesting. So, let's see, we can avoid them for now. Arrow Trap. The arrow traps will automatically launch a deadly arrow when stepped on. They are quite old though, so the arrow will actually fly at the end of the next turn. Okay. And so that's created this wall. I see, so the, the arrows keep flying uh, for one turn. And then we have an ancient weapon. This ancient weapon is beautifully encrusted with precious gems, but you prefer your own. It is much lighter. And it unlocks the Orb of Slashing. That could be interesting. New achievement. Reach the Terracotta Army. So now we have a moat here. Let's see. A River of Mercury. Yeah, that was something that they did... They were really into Mercury. Let's see. So, what I'm noticing is is some of these uh, statues have like different colored clothing, and I was wondering about that. I think that might just be a reference to. Oh, I see. It's like how awake they are. Because I was thinking that it might be a reference to uh, the the fact that they are all uh, unique. They all have different faces. And so, you know, you can't really do different faces in this graphical style. And so I thought that, you know, having them all have little variations in their coloration would be a way of doing that. But it looks like they're just... Ah, oh, we have an orb of flash over here. Uh, that could actually help us clear out some area and get to some treasures a little more easily, especially with these guys about to wake up. Yeah, we can just get rid of them like that. And that didn't do a ton for us. Um, I really don't want to wake any of these guys up because I do think that uh, we're gonna we're gonna run into a lot of trouble when we do though it's gonna get harder and harder as we get more treasures generally these lands that have like really specific mechanics will have some specific to them way of getting harder and harder And so, you know, we might see more and more uh, soldiers. We might see soldiers that are closer to waking up. 
There's a lot of different ways that this could happen. So we can go between these two because they're not close to waking up yet. But, you know, I'm, I'm noticing we have to go past more of them in order to avoid waking them up. New achievement, Zheng Shi, collect 10 ancient weapons. And it might actually be more like Zheng Shi. Uh, I have not taken Chinese in quite a long time, but I particularly remember little, little fragments of it. It was, oh dear, so now we have one. You think this was one of the people who have constructed the terracotta warriors in the arrow traps. They have been locked inside so that they will never divulge the secrets of the mausoleum. They would like to return to their homes and families, though. Interesting. Because I, I looked it up after... Let's see. Okay, so we can just... They're basic enemies. We can just fight them off. I looked them up uh, after this release hit... And I remember there's there's some kind of, like, they're a kind of uh, vampire, sort of-ish. So we can't even attack them until they wake up. But it looks like we can sneak past here. And wow, that one's not even awake, even after all that. Now, let's see, we have 12 rubies, so... We do not want to linger here. We do not have we do not need anything from the hunting grounds. I don't want to go into the uh, overgrown woods just yet. And I just, you know, I just realized the uh oh dear. Okay, this run might be over. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why they separated like that. I don't remember the exact rule. I was just not paying enough attention. Well, there is some rust for you. This is going to, I think, take some work getting back into, but uh, I'm really glad to be playing this again. And uh, hopefully I will continue playing it a lot. I know there are a bunch of new lands to discover in 10.3. And uh, there's a bunch of modes. I don't know if we're going to get a chance to look at all of them, just because one video a week is about all that I can uh, keep up with right now. So we're going to have to try again, maybe make a little bit more of a plan about what we're going to do. I don't know if I want to continue the crossroads strategy. I definitely want to avoid wall hugging. And so I think that... Um, uh, the, the way that I'm going to make the rule next time is we're not going to hug walls. Once we leave a crossroads, we cannot go back into it. Uh, but I won't prevent us from going into crossroads, and that way we can still get orbs and try them out. So, until next time, thank you very much for watching, and have a great rest of your day.